A building boom leaving the past in the dust. News 5 is digging into the impact of these changes as Cleveland's historic neighborhoods become some of the hottest. Mike Brookbank joins the E-Team with the latest in our series, Cleveland Abandoned. They've seen their communities at their worst, but the bounce back they're now experiencing could come with a big cost. It's the stretch of Lorraine Avenue. Helene Bryant calls home. I've seen a lot of improvements. The low income resident who lives in the Detroit Shoreway neighborhood, along with her neighbors, are living in fear. We're happy to see the improvements, but we're also afraid to lose each other. Their concern, renewed interest in this part of town, will price them out. We've gotten used to each other. We don't want to have to relocate, and we're afraid that we won't be able to afford to stay. A surge in rent already happening in other revitalized areas like Tremont. It's not across the board for the entire neighborhood. Within a few blocks of Professor, rent is up 20 to 30 percent in just the last few years, according to the Tremont West Development Corporation. We have heard that there's a growing concern about affordability, and we've started to address that. The organization quickly working to replace once affordable housing lost to the uptick in the market. If we're not looking at it today, then what, what happens tomorrow? The goal, have 20 percent of Tremont's housing stock dedicated to low-income residents. We're all talking about it and all looking at additional ways we can make sure we're preserving our diversity and affordability. Right now, there are more than 1,000 affordable units in the Detroit Shoreway. We actually have a brand new building breaking ground um, on Lorraine Avenue by the by the Red Line Rapid Station, so we continue to build that housing. All in an effort to keep neighborhoods intact, despite economic forces possibly pushing longtime residents out. The people that have been here are what make the neighborhood the neighborhood, you know? In Tremont, about 70% of the housing stock is rentals, and I'm told right now there is something for pretty much every budget, but that is starting to change as rents increase, so it is quickly intensifying the effort to get more affordable housing. Reporting for the E-Team, I'm Mike Brookbank. Well, in Gordon Square, the heart of the Detroit Shoreway neighborhood, there are more than 200 apartments above the businesses along Detroit and West 65th. Low-income housing tax credits helping cover the costs to revitalize those buildings and provide affordable units. All right, J.D.